What's up guys, it's Jomi here, and today's video goes into our Lumi Legs episode. Now if you guys remember in the last episode, we came to Palut Corp to investigate everything. We had the whole guard scene and everything, the guard that ran away and stuff like that from in the bathroom and stuff like that. And now we are in the secret level that um, Battlestar Foss was talking about that, oh, um, um, she heard um, Dr. Vanna talking about it um, while, while he was doing something in the lab and stuff like that. She overheard him saying that. So we are down in that um, level and we figure out that Jake um, found out that they actually have bad intentions. Blue Corp actually has bad intentions for the world and stuff like that and just want money. That's what they want. They want money and wanna, and they don't care about what they produce and stuff like that. And that's why we're down here to investigate and look and explore everything that's going down here. However, if this is your first time watching my channel or you end up liking today's video, make sure you like and subscribe or click the bell and set the all notifications. Send out the video. Yeah, okay, so all right, so we're gonna go straight into this. In the last episode, we have to leave off at this um, point because there is a lot of story to impact that took some time, and there's a lot of things that took time in between that. So in this episode, we're gonna continue and go with the guards and everything. So we defeated the two guards. There's one up there. There's one. There's one over here on the. I think on this wall over there somewhere over here. And we have a couple more that we have to get through to complete and stuff for that. So let's talk to this guy over here, and we should be fine. The boss sealed the door to the last ahead after the last break in. To get through, you would have to gain access to the security room, but there is no there is no way you would make it through me. Oh, that's what he thinks. The pollute guard thinks he's gonna do that, but actually, I'm gonna win. You have a score, but I also have a fire type limit, so I'm definitely gonna win against this. Really easy. Unless there was something that it could use against me. What I think? It, it, can he use ice type moves? Not ice type. Is it ice? Yeah, ice. Ice type moves. It can't use ice type. I don't, I don't believe so. I don't think it can, so we should be fine. It can use electric moves, fire moves, and ice type moves, I believe, but none of those are affected against us, I believe so. Ice types don't work because fire and ice don't mix together. That's 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 how I like use the logic system. Like would fire and ice work? Fire is obviously gonna be better against ice because fire melts ice. Stuff for that. That's why I just use the common sense con common sense on work out type and stuff for like that. Alright, so we have the Mars about to level up, which is really good. It can't evolve anymore, but that's fine. Let's use Mud Splatter. Should be fine. I think we should be able to get everything else done in this episode and stuff like that. I, and I'm, I'm gonna, re I'm recording this video right after the last episode. That's how we can get everything done in this episode. And I want to get everything just done so that I'll be able to just edit it and then post it, you know, accordingly and stuff like that. That's what I'm trying to do. But we're gonna try to get this one because I still have to, edit, I still have to edit the previous uh, episode. So we see if we can get everything done with that. All right, Pollute Core Battle Snap Putro. All right, let's switch to Chris Side because you can see you. You're gonna see, right? See, he still has a lot of um, EXP to go through. And that's just Chris Side. Chris Side and um, um, Obsidian. Is it Obsidian? Yeah, Obsidian or whatever. Is it Obsidian? I think that's what it is. Obsidian. It takes a long, long, long time. Oh, I didn't know Muspire would actually do that good on it. But it takes a long, long time for it to level up. So you always want to make sure that Chris I is always leveling up on time and getting the much ASP as he can, if possible, if possible, because it, it doesn't it doesn't evolve until like level 40, and that's gonna take like that's that's a long that's a long time away, that's a long time away. So it takes some time for it to for it to do that. That's like 12 levels away, which is it, not like that bad, but considering it's Chris I and how long it takes to level up, it is bad. I need to warn the rest of the security team before this gets any worse. Of course, and then he's gonna run away just like the other guards did. Exactly. So two things we can do. We have to open that door. So the security room should be over here. Oh no, the security room is all the way over there. But we have to get the key card for it. And I believe that's why we're in this room. So if I'm right, I forgot how do you get the key card? I don't know, I forgot. Is it here? Zero no zero 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 eight two? There's a way to get that, I forgot, let me remember. I think I have to talk to the NPC, the NPC should know. Right, NPC should know. Look all through long to work here, then again, your minds are what the, bo the boss said we need for more innovation in this company. There's a way to get it, I don't know, I forgot. How do you get it? Why does the eye look like that? I don't remember you, you must be the new guy, right? Hmm. There's a way to get it. Yeah, it's right there, but let me talk to him. There's a young man in here earlier that dropped his bag and left in a hurry. I think the bag he left he left is that blue one over there it's reckless to leave your stuff outside your locker someone could take your belongings yep and that's someone like us look our gold key card was stored in the item app so we we need to get a code for this right there's a way to get a code for it 
I'm not sure how you do it though. I forgot how do you get the code for that. I think we have to figure it out somehow. But I think what we I think that's for something else. I believe so. I think that's for a whole nother thing that we don't have to worry about. And we can't we can't go through that door. We have to unlock it somehow. So we have to go back. And all these all these random Lumia encounters are gonna slow us down, but that's fine. I think we're able to get everything done this episode. Alright, so let's keep going. Yeah, it's gonna slow us down a little bit. I don't have repellents. I wish I could have got repellents, but I don't have one. Actually, I might just get repellents. That's what I'm probably gonna do. What we can do is that I can get repellents real quick and come back to the spot. That's what we're gonna do. So we don't have to waste so much time on limits that we already have. Alright, so we back and now we have the repellents, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Can we still okay, we can still go in here? Oh, that's the key card we got from the room. Now the locker room thingy and here also is if you guys didn't know. This is where we came for the tour and stuff like that. This is the actual area. So we can obviously see how the building actually connects. Like it's it, it starts at the underground area, I guess, in the sewer area, but it actually connects with the main building and stuff like that once you get there. Also, if you guys remember the alert, like the, the information about where we had the tour, where we couldn't see through the grass, here we can see through the grass. So this code and stuff like that is the code for that locker although we're not going to worry about this right now we're going to worry about this when we're leaving it if we have time probably going to be the next episode if we have time when we're leaving um pollute corp and stuff like that we're probably going to worry about that but right now we're not going to worry about that right now so let's just focus on the main story and stuff like that and here we have a crate box so we have a boost token so we can use that for exp that's what i'm probably going to use during during here i'm probably going to use that for exp so we can get our lumians up if we need to because how many boost tokens do i have i have like five so I mean I can use for EXP, especially during the corrupted battle. I can use that. Also, we need to go in here. Which there is a funny story behind this, but I'm gonna show you guys. I will show you guys the funny story behind this. So we have three things. We have three things that we have to do. We have first of all, we have this door which we can't get through, and just like a um, computer stuff in there. We also have a game of what game is that? I forgot what game is that. It looks like a game I should know, but there's a robot game on that. So that's a meme here. But we have three guards. We have this one, this one and that one you're gonna see that we're gonna see the meme or like not the meme but the joke behind one of them when we get there how did you get in here it doesn't matter this ends now mm -hmm. the pollute going of course we have the red the red guard which we can obviously tell like there's something different different behind him but that's fine he still got his corp that's level 29 so we should be still fine to defeat everyone i don't think it's gonna take that long for us to do it right now we're at seven minutes seven minutes is not that bad I don't think it's going to take that long, but just in case it does, we still have some more time and we can also like cut out the video if we need to. I soon I seem to edit the, ep the last episode. That's what I'm really worried about. So I'm trying to get everything done as, as, as possible, not rushing too much, but of course not wasting time as well. I want to make sure we get everything, you know, and make sure I don't I don't take so much time just to get a certain story and stuff like that. All right, we're going to switch out to Southern Mars. And everyone is still, we still need to um, level up everyone else because they're under level right now might just have it since we're defeating guards you might just have a boost token going on for the like for the um for the levels i mean you might as well so that we can be ahead of level right that would make more sense but we have so many guards we've went through about three guards right now so i think it would just make more sense for us to do that you know what i'm saying like it make more sense for us to do that because since we're already like fighting guards we might as well just get the extra esp i mean i mean the extra experience from it and stuff like that so I think that's what we're going to do actually, after we're done with this one, Putro, let's, we're going to do the same thing over again. And Muspire should have a double effect because it's both a metal and a electric type of um, Lumion, so that should work. We should get a lot from that. We might have to, we might one shot it. Are we going to one shot? I knew it. Because once it's like, it has the two, the two types, the two types on it is very like, it's not, it's very, um, not effective against, or like, you know, the thing that the move we're using is very effective against the two times it has to double thing which i just figured that out even though i have playing the game for a while but anyway i need to find a new job of course you do of course you're, you're gonna run away and we got 1k for each of them that's really cool right so let's use the boost token real quick because there's no point of us not using it all right let's make sure we put the right way make sure we don't need all this right now we need to just focus on experience gain okay we got that one all right so 19 minutes i guess that's gonna cover for the rest of the video so we shouldn't have to worry about that for right now all right what do we have here right so this should level everyone up here so it should be fine let's switch out to chrisite because we need chrisite to get some levels on that one the bot does not tolerate failure i cannot afford and also you see the camera in the background we're gonna look at that later though i cannot afford to, to i cannot afford to let you keep going yes the pollute the pollute guard that i defeat like five people or the same people is definitely going to stop me from going somewhere with a scorb out of all things 
Alright, so it's almost leveling up there, but it takes some time though. I always use Mud Splatter. And also, he has some defense, so that should be fine. Even he used Bash, right? That's a metal type, which is effective. But with the status effect, or the status that it has, like the sharp edges, and also because it has, it's in the form where it has a lot of defense and stuff for that, all the moves that are effective, especially like effective, that should knock us out, it's not gonna work. Unless if it's double effective, I guess. If it's really bad against ancient type, I guess it's bad. I, if it's really bad, I mean, if it's really bad against ancient type, I guess we might we might be able to get one shot. But I think we're gonna be fine. That's why I like Krista. Krista has the he has the what do you call it, the status effect sharp edges. So even if you attack and like your attack doesn't do all that thing, it's still gonna if it attacks you back or like the let me attack you, it's still gonna do that damage. So that actually comes in the clutch if you need to. You know, defeat Illumina and stuff like that. Depends on what you're doing, actually. Alright, use Muspire because it does double. Double effectiveness. I'm pretty sure that's times two effectiveness, something like that. I can't remember what, what really that is called. But I think that should be okay. So we need one shot because he has a lot of defense, but not that much of an attack, I guess, in this part. I'm pretty sure Muspire should be a special. Is it, is, it, is, it a, is it a melee attack or is it a special attack? I think it might be a special attack, actually. So that might be it as well, but I don't think that's really a big problem. Get low 29, which is good. See, everyone's loving up because we have the two XP. Even people inside the like the those two um, areas at the bottom, they're also loving up too because they have a lot of XP coming in. Fine, but the boss will not go easy on you like I did. Mm -hmm. The boss, the boss, which is this guy. I guess he's the boss that they're all scared of. But I can clearly see why he's scary because he's wearing red. Maybe that's why they're scared of him. Right, let's heal up real quick to make sure we're ready for the. The next battle to come, so let's just use a small med right here. Use this right here. And that battle took up like two two minutes, so we have to be watching that. I've been watching you. I've been watching you every step on camera. I'm impressed by your determination in making it this far. It's my job to protect the facility. This it's my job to protect the facility's sacred labs from this room. One press from the button behind me will open all the heavy doors, blocking the the way ahead. But you will never see those doors open as long as I'm in your way. But if you beat me in battle, I will have no choice but to step down from my post. But that is not going to happen. When you lose to me in battle, you'll be evicted from the ground and law enforcement will have their way with you. So let's get this over with. Of course, the big pollute commander is going to get us, but it's not going to work. Failings, not that bad of a choice, but still... It's not going to do that much. Vaylings? I guess Vaylings is a good Illumion, but it's not really good in attack. I don't think so. At least I don't think so. It doesn't do that much attack. I think I think when it evolves into Guard Drone, which is the final evolution, I think that's when it might be able to do something, but it doesn't really do that much. Also kind of reminds me of Rotom. If you guys know from, from Pokemon. Rotom where it's able to, um... It's electric and metal, right? So, is it double? No, it doesn't. It's not electric. It's only metal. Is it electric? I think it might be just metal. I believe so. Maybe it's just metal on this one. Let's use Cedimars. Yeah, let's use Cedimars for that one. But if you guys remember um, Rotom, he can take different forms. He can take a form of a fan. He can take himself as a Pokemon and go into like a fan and become like a Rotom fan. Or he can turn into a refrigerator or turn like a vacuum. So many things. If you guys remember for Pokemon Bronze, of course you guys know what I'm talking about where Rotom can change different forms and stuff for like that but it's really it's really cool to see that it's, it kind of reminds me of veiling like uh, veiling you can evolve and it would be cool like if you can change different forms as well like you can turn into like a like a refrigerator and stuff like that just like rotom that would be a really cool feature to add that into it because it's like an artificial lumen so you can kind of like customize it and it's also a robot too so it's Puch putro but i guess they're different in different ways if they had like different forms and different like kind of um added to, like kind of forms that they could do because they're machines that'd be really cool to see in the game as well all right we got that level boost see everyone's leveling up to where we need to and that's what i need everyone to do all right we have another valiant for this sake we're gonna move to guest book actually not even click that we're gonna click switch on this one it might take us some time we might see we might not be able to finish the pollute cup and everything today we might not actually then i think about it, we might not be able to finish it unless i make the video long that's the only way because right now we have 14 minutes and something seconds and 30 something seconds so like you have to be careful we'll see if we can get everything done today i'll try our best but we should be able to get everything done. i'm not wasting time i'm trying to do everything as fast as i can so we should be able to get everything done and do everything and also there is two parts in the next i'm going to show you guys like what i was talking about like how there's a cool part up there in the in the the, the button thing i'll show you guys that that's a hunter which is interesting how many lumens does he have 
I think I could have. He had like three. Okay, I thought he had like four, because he had the Scorb. He had the. He, he had the Putro. He had the Scorb. No, he had the Veilings. No, he had a, he had the Veilings and the Scorb. I think, or something like that. I'm not really sure about that one. All right, let's use Fire. We could have used Cinnamon, but that's fine. We don't have to worry about that. Actually, Hunter is actually doing. He's actually doing some damage. We have to be careful a little bit on that one. All right. I think we should be fine. Please. Chomp, don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill it. Okay, we're good. I thought he's gonna die. That was a close call. I thought we were gonna die. Because he could have done a critical hit and we would have definitely be dead. But we're fine. And obviously, Mr. Pollute Commander, I thought you were gonna win. Of course he didn't. Level up, if we're gonna level up, someone gonna level up. Yes, Chris I, and we need Chris I to level up the most. Ashton, Govidimic, Escrow to 29. That's fine. We can get Escrow later. The doctor would not be pleased with this. Dr. Vanna. Yes. Not gonna be, he's not gonna be happy. Let's talk to him. I failed my post. I hope the doctor can pardon me. I live in Pollute Corp, but before you go any farther, there is something you need to know. The doctor has a plan to change the future of this company and nothing will get in his way. When he gets what when he gets what he's been after, the entire world will be in the palm of his hand. Alright, that's enough for me. See ya kid. Of course, Mr. Pollute Commander. Now press the green button. You know why it says that? You click no, see what happens. Don't you need to press it? No. Come on, press it. No. If you don't press it, you can you can't go deep. You can't go any deeper in Pollute Corpse to your life. Press the button. No. Last chance to press it. No. Okay. So that that wasn't really your last chance. To press it now. No. I. Are you ready? Yes. No. How about now? No. Please press the button. No. And then rock fell on the button. That's a secret. That's the actually secret thing that happens. Like you can either click yes and then always always click the button. Or something falls on the button and this that's the secret that I want to show you guys and stuff for like that. But of course I can't show you guys both because of the story and stuff for like that. A large a large security door opened in the hallway. So that door we were looking at before is not open. We can go there. We're not gonna worry about, we're not gonna worry about the locker. But I'm gonna try my best to see if we can get to the end of it and see if we can get past all that. Now that the repellent is off, so we should be able to get that. Look how Chris is rocking back and forth. Stop that over here. Let's talk to them. What is it? Doctor has been slaving away in his secret lab ever since the, the dark rock was discovered. He keeps talking about its untapped power and the strength and the strength it can unlock in Lumions. I heard that there was a dark rock found in Way Village similar to the one that the Venom had. Apparently, it was dri driving people mad if they touched it. Is it even safe to have something like that in this lab? Now, what they're referring to is the is the stone or the rock piece or the tablet piece that fell inside the pagoda and then we have to like save everyone from that i appreciate what they're talking about apply the apparel all right you have to send us out before you can enter the labs ahead don't forget to scrub behind the knuckles of course you don't have to but that's just like for the npc and stuff for like that hey stop you can't go any further you didn't even wash your hands this is unacceptable really you feel sick because i didn't wash my hands okay pollute court guard what you gonna do now all right here are the score as always we, can, we probably can get everything done in today's episode, actually. Might be able to. It's gonna, it's gonna run over like to 20 something minutes. But we should we should be able to get like the most part of this Pollute Corp um, story and everything down. I'm trying my best to go as fast as I can, but I can't go faster than that. Alright, so score, but right, we need to switch out because Chris is not really doing that well. I don't know what's happening. But, um, get to poke. I forgot to, um, um, heal it real quick. I forgot to do that. It's okay, though. Set the marks we saved today for this point right, that's not gonna do that much damage all right let's use must splatter and that should slow down so we go first yep and that should knock out scorb all right because scorb is not that strong very weak we evolved into valence or guard drone it's a different story but as its primary form no it's it's very weak can't do that much damage unfortunately i mean fortunately for us unfortunately for the pollute guard all right valence no valence is a little bit tougher but doesn't do that much damage either he might have a guard drone that might be cool if he has a guard drone, that would be cool to see he has a valence and he has a valence or is it valence or valence 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 because it's like a robot valence it might be valence it might be both i would say valence valence sounds better but valence is also good as well it's, it's it seems like it's valence though because they and the lens like the future of the two words together so it makes sense if it's valence also because it's a robot and he has like an eye so lens i guess i think it might be valence that it might be a better way of saying it Right, so there's gone. If he has a guardian, that'd be cool. He probably does have a guardian. Does he have a guardian? Probably not. Probably. If he does, and they got 1k ASP. My hands are clean off this, of course, because now you that said, oh, you you you're not washing your hands. Now apparently you're washing your hands. Also, 
I didn't, I didn't even know that thing was there, but that's really cool. We have this woman person. I think we have this woman person, and then we're done. The venti are to remove loose particles in the air to make the environment ahead cleaner. I'm here to clean up any trouble that makes it past security. I forgot to heal up um Gexbook again, but I guess we're gonna be fine. All right, we have Valence or Valence again. I also like Valence call sign. It's really cool. It sounds robotic, which makes sense. All right, let's just do set marks real quick. Because Chris, I ain't gonna do nothing. It's only for defense. It can't really do any that damage right now in this in this current form, but it should be fine later in this other form. All right, we're at 20 minutes right now. 20 minutes and 40 something seconds. 20 minutes and 40 something seconds, so we should be fine. It's probably just gonna run over to like 25 minutes, which is gonna take a long time to really upload. I'm probably not gonna edit as much. All right, as you guys know, Looney Legacy episode, I don't like to edit that much unless I have to. Unless I have to. But I'm not, probably not gonna edit that much because, I mean, there's nothing else I can really edit out. The only thing I'm gonna edit out is battles. I don't want you guys to be able to see, <clears throat> excuse me, see all the episodes and then everything I'm doing the episode. Unless it's parts that I don't need that, that is not necessary to the story and stuff like that. But this is obviously necessary story. We have to go through all these guards and that's why it takes so long that's why the developers made it this way so that it can take a longer time for you to do it it makes sense your lumians do not meet the cleanliness standards for our labs of course and what is he gonna do he's gonna run away too because we don't meet that standard right, so let's quickly heal up and see what we have to do all right so we need to use the medium man on gexplo all right so that's gone let's use this use this use this use this on Gexpo. I thought he's gonna heal, heal it up all the way. Alright, we're gonna switch to... Chris is gonna go down here. We don't need Chris right now. So we can have Esther Grove in the main team. We don't need Chris right now. We still have double ESP, so that would be good for us. Alright, let's talk to two people over here. That's what they say. If it all goes right, Dr. Venom's plan could change the, change the future of this company. Dr. Venom has been getting a lot of the staff together. Apparently, he's ready for the next step in his plan. All right, and this where the last part we have to do for the whole story. I think we're gonna have a quite big story, so we're gonna still gonna be the last part of today's episode. Mm -hmm. Another intruder. What am I even paying these guards for? If you made it, if you made it this deep into my facility, you must be very determined. What is it that you want? You want to take away my latest and possible greatest discovery? Ha! I'm afraid that I can't let that happen. You see, we were just about to perform a test with it. In fact, you're just in time for the show. Do it now. Yes, sir. And we're obviously going to see what's going to happen. Because it's quite, it's quite interesting. Mm -hmm, Protagon. We're putting the evil bad ending to it. And of course, something bad happens to it. Sure, the test is complete. Protagon is showing significant gains in strength. Perfect. Exactly as I predicted. Now that our, cre or not our, not that our curation. Oh my god. Is at full power, I would like to test it. So I suggest we run some diagnostics first. And of course, it never goes well when you don't try to do something beforehand. That's the same thing that happened to Mewtwo. Mewtwo was supposed to be tested, I'm pretty sure he was supposed to be tested, but of course they didn't test it and everything. And of course we saw how Mewtwo turned up and they and he messed up the whole lab and everything. Its power its power appears to be growing. To still be growing. We don't know its limitations yet. I don't know if we can control it. Enough! I'm in charge here. For, for its first test, Protagon will eliminate the intruder. This kid has seen too much and it would be unfortunate to have another witness get away. Yes, sir. But once I press this button, Protagon will have full consciousness acts for itself for the first time. Protocols and directives have, haven't have been properly tested. I gave you an order. Do not test me. Do it now. Sorry, sir. Activating. And there's Vanta moving over to the side. Oh, now we have to defeat him. We're just gonna be good for our AXP and everything. A little more powerful. So we have Protagon to defeat. We still have, we're still gonna run into time. It's probably gonna be 30 minutes actually. It might be 30 minutes long of content in this one. I don't know. It might just have to be for, for this episode to get it done. We don't have to worry about Protagon. I think Protagon's gonna be an easy, easy run through. Really, see, we're almost done with this health right there. It's gonna be an easy run through to get through that. Alright, let's use Fire Spam. It's gonna be a really easy run through to get through. Um, looks like a photogram right here. Yep, we don't have to really worry about it, right? Alright, use Fire Slam. One more time, use the Energy Surge. It's not gonna do that much, is it? It might. Ooh! I was wrong. I thought we were good. I guess we're not, actually. Let's switch out, because we can't afford it. Alright, so it is a Metal-type. And it uses Light-type moves and Electric-type moves, which 
both are not ineffective against Hedemars, I believe. Right? That might do some damage. Actually, it does do some damage. But I think we're able to withstand one of that. So let's do the mud thing. Agent Instinct is just going to increase his melee attack. But he's gone. He's gone. He's, yeah, he's gone. That was a simple one because everyone is leveled up and I have the Lumions to make sure we win for that. And 2k is going to level up. It's going to level up everyone for that. So that's going to be really cool to see that. At 32. Trying to learn base chop. That's not that bad. Get spoke. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's a fire attack. Yeah, I forgot. All right, please drop. All right, we got fire slam. Let's do let's do bridge jump because it's 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 more more damage. That's fine. Let's use that one. More damage is what we need anyway. Resting gain experience thanks to experience boost. Extra drone level thirty. Get low, yes. We need everyone to get up to level thirty something. Trying to strike in. That's fine. I guess are we gonna use it though? Ashton trying to use strike in. Are we gonna use the? Mm, I don't like I don't like stat moves. I don't like using that. No. Yeah, I'm gonna do. I don't like to use stat moves. For me, I don't like to use stat moves. I always like to use attack, and I like to use attack moves that have stat effects. It's really cool. And Polygon runs away, and now he can find Roaming the Wild. No, how could this be? After after all the time and resources I have sunk into creating the ultimate life form, some rat breaks into my lab, beats it up, and lets it escape. This is unacceptable. I cannot let a mere child like you ruin my work so easily. So the police are responding to reports about a rogue limit that has escaped from our facility. I believe they're referring to Protagon. Already that quick? That was interesting. Everyone is going to wonder where that limit came from, and they will trace it back to us. We don't have time to destroy the evidence. If I'm caught, I'll be ruined. I have no choice but to see why I still have time. Guards, go start the truck. Yes, sir. You may have defeated my limit, but you haven't defeated me. Our Venom doesn't, our Venom doesn't give up. On his, um, on his ambitions. Mark my word, you haven't seen the last of me. Of course, Mr. Vanna. And of course, we're going to talk to our dad about this and teleport it back to him. The pieces. It's interesting. Do we have any more story to talk about? Or is that it? Oh, we do have more. I can't believe you did all that. That was, in that was incredibly dangerous. You should have let me know what you were doing. I could have helped more. I'm glad that everything worked out though. You bested another battle star, collected another piece of the tablet, and even made some new friends by the sound of it. Your mother and I are very proud. For now, I think it would be safe if you continued your path through it and gathered more, gathered any more information you can about the stone trucks. I'll keep my research here at the lab. Beast beats, someone's calling and let me watch. Oh, you get another call? Okay, I'll let you go for now. Talk to you later, champ. Couldn't be Jake, right? Or Lucas. Hey, Domi, it's Lucas. Is everything okay? You, you took off fast after leaving the theater. We haven't heard from Jake yet either. You did what? So Pelucor had had the piece, had the had the a piece, had the that's definitely a grammatic error. So Pelucor had the a piece of the big rock, and they were planning to use it to create a super army of Lumians. That's nuts. Lucas, baby, Lucas, Mabel, and I are glad you are safe. If that takes care of everything here in Sephiroth, then I think we should get to moving on. You're headed to Route 8? We'll, we'll meet you there. Until then. And that's it. So we're going to end the episode today's episode because it's been quite long. There's a lot of stuff that's going into this episode. There's us now we have to head to Route 8. And there's a lot of stuff that's going to go in Route 8. That we're going to have to do um, um, story-wise and stuff like that. But anyway, guys, like I said earlier in the video, if you're the first time watching my channel or you end up liking this video, make sure you like, subscribe. Or to click the bell and set all notifications. Same time I post a video, they have notifications to you. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.